Hello, this is Ed Zern. Nash Motors asked me to tell you why they made this picture, and I said I would. You might think they made it to help sell more Nash cars, and of course you'd be right. Well, actually, they wanted to remind a lot of people that their cars have some very special attractions for outdoor sportsmen, such as these birds you see here. Incidentally, for the sake of simplicity, everyone in this commercial is named Charlie, and I'd like to have you meet them. Charlie, say hello to the people. You too, Charlie. You too, Charlie. Thank you. If you keep an eye on those birds, you'll see why a lot of fishermen and hunters think this 1956 Nash is the ideal car. First of all, there's the famous Nash twin travel bed arrangement. The divided back of the front seat drops back to form a real overnight full length bed with plenty of room for two men to sleep comfortably. Nash even makes special plastic screens for the windows to keep out black flies, mosquitoes, bull weevils, whooping cranes, and that sort of thing. That bed business works pretty well in the daytime, too. On a long trip, one man can sleep while his partner drives, or vice versa. And if you aren't in the mood for a full-fledged snooze, you can adjust the front seat to any one of five restful positions. A lot of sportsmen like to take along their own private sporting goods stores when they travel and Nash makes it easy for them with one of the biggest luggage compartments in any new car. I heard about a man one time who got lost in a Nash luggage compartment. It's a good idea to take a compass if you plan to go all the way in. Ambassador has a 220 horsepower jet fire V8 engine that's really a hot performer. And the Statesman, too, gives you more power than ever, plus traditional fuel economy. Because outdoor sportsmen often use their cars when it's too hot or too cold for sensible people to be driving, Nash invented all season air conditioning. In the wintertime, it keeps the temperature comfortably warm without drafts. And in the summertime, it actually cools the car as much as 15 degrees inside. But whether it's freezing or frying, it's all regulated with one simple manual control. And believe me, it makes breathing a real pleasure. Charlie breathes some of that Nash conditioned air for the people. Thank you. Incidentally, Nash was the first car to put the air intake on the cowl up above exhaust fumes from cars ahead. There's the widest windshield and rear window and the best visibility you'll find in any new car to give you a better look at the scenery and a safer look at the road. There's a really short turning radius for a car this big. And in spite of having the widest seats of any car, it's actually two inches slimmer outside than many other new cars for easier garaging and parking. The safety view headlights are set low inside the grill for better visibility under foggy, rainy conditions. There's a sound scientific reason why Nash's deep coil springs are so much smoother riding than ordinary suspension systems, and if I understood it, I'd explain it to you. Nash has something else that doesn't show on the outside. It's called double safe single unit construction and it means that instead of fastening a separate body onto a frame with nuts and bolts, as most car makers do, Nash welds the frame and body into one single rock-solid unit. That makes Nash bodies twice as strong and twice as safe as ordinary construction, with battleship box sections to increase front-end protection. And of course, with no nuts and bolts to get loose and rattle, these Nash cars are quieter, too. In fact, a Nash ride so quietly, even on rough roads, you can almost hear a toothpick drop. Go ahead, Charlie, drop it. Thank you, Charlie. 
There are a lot of other features that make the 1956 Nash cars attractive to rod and gun sportsmen or to anyone who likes the outdoors. That's why Nash would be happy if you'd see the cars they make and drive them. They'd be even happier if you bought one, I suppose, and they think you might after you've had a chance to get acquainted. There are three types, the ambassador, the statesman, and the rambler. Incidentally, there are two other Nash sports films as beautiful and as interesting as this one you've just seen, and your Nash dealer will be glad to arrange a showing. Well, that's all I have to say except good fishing and hunting and thanks for the use of their projector. So long.